Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Founders Great sponsored by gaper.io today we have Natalie Natalie is the VP of customers at customer.io Natalie welcome to the show Thank you thank you very much for having me Natalie a brief background about yourself prior to joining customer.io Yeah sure I uh, worked in England for about 7 years for a branded content agency and we also had our own SaaS products that worked alongside the marketing material that we were creating um so that's where I sort of fell in love with the SaaS world a little bit um then I moved to America and kept working for that same um British based company which is where I got a good taste for what remote work would look like and uh, how how it was to operate on a team with different time zones that in in play um so when i was starting to look for my next move i had definitely had sort of remote work and saas and working with customers on my radar as high, pri- high priorities um and that's where i found customer io hmm nice and can you tell us about your journey with customer.io almost 3 years now i guess Yes, coming up on 3 years ago. So, um I I joined the team. They they had just decided to change the uh, the tiers of business that they offered to customers. And they wanted to fo- uh, um start rolling out a premium account which had an expanded support package when lined up next to the, the basic account. And to do this, they wanted to offer a customer success manager as one of the benefits to upgrading to premium. Um so I came on as one of three customer success managers so we were pretty much starting from scratch in terms of saying what is this support offering going to look like what does customer success look like for this company how should it work what should the process be everything was very much starting from a blank page lots of unanswered questions um but we we had a great time just building that from scratch we we really hit our stride i would say about 18 months in was when we found that you know we had a very very good retention rate with customers um we had a good grasp on what what we were offering to customers and the the boundaries in which we were operating and we'd really gelled well as a team um so that's that's kind of the journey of the success team um personally like i say I started off as customer success manager and I moved into the team lead role when we started to look at expanding the team and bringing some more people in to continue serving the growing base of premium customers that we had um and from there we started to work on combining the success team with our support team which is when I became director of customers and then finally um about halfway through last year we folded our professional services team into the customers team as well so i'm now vp of customers at customerio taking care of our success team our technical support team and our professional services team god god thank you so much for that so I'm now trying to keep the conversation much more relevant towards today's time you know mm-hmm. so in the last one year unfortunate year but in the last one year you know we've seen uh the adaptability of different digital tools escalating compared to the others so have you seen any kind of transition at that uh, with the product adaptability with customer.io yes yeah, so the the majority of our customers um have been just as fortunate as we are in in the sense that they've seen a lot of growth um one of our, our primary sectors that we serve is the edtech business so if you imagine you're removing the possibility of going to school going to college in person um there's a lot more space for schools to start adopting specific edtech tools you know these these um saas companies are built for people to learn easily online to you know their their content is all structured around online learning and that's the world that um that people have had to to start living in so that's one of our biggest sectors and that's been one that's really seen a, a big boom over the year um 
other SaaS products such as fitness platforms. Um, again, with the closing down of gyms, online fitness platforms have just exploded and we've seen a number of customers do really, really well there. So with, with our primary use case being the, the automated communication, um, it's, we've, we've seen as everyone's life has shifted a lot more from in-person to being online, that's where we've seen a lot of our growth coming coming about. Um, unfortunately, we have seen a, a few customers uh, that have, have struggled to stay alive really during um, everything that's been going on with COVID. Uh, they're much, much fewer and farther between when we're thinking about use cases such as concert venues, online ticket booking, um, travel companies we do have a few of those and unfortunately they've been having a, a really tough time but for for the majority of of people we've seen them either kind of stay on a, a pretty stable base or have a lot of growth which we've um, been supporting as much as we can yeah so which brings me down to my next question in regards to uh uh, being head of customer success and as well as managing the team over Zoom. Mm -hmm. So is that something you've been able to do easily or what are the challenges that you came across and how were you able to overcome? Mm -hmm. So again, customer has been very fortunate through the pandemic because we've always been a remote first company. So it wasn't a case of... of for us anyway, having to make that transition. Um, the company takes care of us very well in terms of making sure that we've all got the equipment and the home office setup that we need. And we haven't really known any world outside of, of working on Zoom. Um, so that's, that's actually been great. And what has been nice for us is that we've been able to help a lot of our customers who haven't been used to it. Um, we've had a lot of our customers reach out and say, I don't know how to run this team via Zoom. I don't know which apps I should start using that I've never used before. So it's, it's been nice to be able to help and advise people from, from that sense. Uh, one thing that we, we have historically done is meet up twice a year. We get the whole company together and that face-to-face -face time um, is really really valuable to us and we've definitely felt the pain of, of not having that to look forward to so in quite an, an unprecedented position now to, to be looking at the team and seeing se several people that I've never met in person but I'm working with very closely on a day-to-day -day basis which is is quite strange I'm definitely looking forward to getting some face time with them soon last question you know in regards to your own personal productivity hacks, you know, so because of COVID and especially in winters, you know, uh, what activities are you doing that help you maintain work-life balance as well as mental health and everything? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's, that's a good one. And it's been, it's been really important um, for, for me when I'm thinking about leading a team is not just taking care of myself, but also making sure I'm giving everybody else the space to do that for themselves. So for me, it's all about having, having one thing a day that's just for me that I don't compromise on. So I go out for a run every morning and that's, that's not negotiable. I don't, I don't take any calls over that time. I don't, if someone says, oh, can you just squeeze something in? I say, nope, I'm sorry, that's my, I need that to, to clear my head and be ready to go for the day at work. So that's been my, my one fixed thing. Um, and, and also just not, not feeling bad if I leave on time. <laughs> that, that's been a hard one to get into the habit of because we've been very busy um, and you know, there hasn't really been anywhere to, to go per se physically. It's very easy to just stay at your desk and keep, keep on going because there's, you know, there's nothing else on, on the schedule. But um, I've had to be quite strict about saying, I am gonna leave on time and I'm just gonna go sit with my family. So yeah, some strict timekeeping and starting the day off with something that's just for me. True, true. Natalie, thank you so much for being on the show. I'm pretty sure we can talk for another 20 to 25 minutes. <laughs> Marketing team, they just forced me to keep them short and precise. 
Thank That's you. fine, no problem. <laughs> Take care and stay safe.